Good morning. Well, the Aussie share market is eyeing a bit of a pause today. The futures are suggesting a drop at the open of 0.2 of a percent, with traders awaiting key retail trade data out today. Overseas markets were positive. Global equities, oil and gold all gained ground overnight. And the oil price, which is a proxy for economic activity, firmed above $20 a barrel for the first time since mid-April, after demand begins to steadily rise with further US states, including Florida and Texas, reopening. Now, also helping the oil price are the production cuts that have kicked in from Norway and Canada. However, what weighed on overseas markets, particularly Wall Street, was weaker than expected economic data, with the US trade deficit, the balance between imports and exports falling slightly more than expected, losing 12%, falling to $44.4 billion. The surprise came as exports dropped to their lowest level since 2016. Looking at US stocks, pharmaceutical giant Pfizer, their shares rose 2.4%, while for the sectors, health and IT led the rally up 1% each. All in all, the NASDAQ out of the indices gained the most 1.1% and the S&P 500 followed. Elsewhere, the gold price inched slightly ahead to $1,714 an ounce. Now, what to watch today? Well, the donation and church pay app called PushPay, PPH, announced revenue rose over 30% in the 12 months right through to March, while its profit fell 15% weighed by its acquisition of another payment platform. All in all, Push Pay, which largely operates in the US and New Zealand, met or exceeded their guidance levels. Now, Genworth Mortgage Insurance, GMA, is set to announce a first quarter financial results, so keep an eye on those today. Now to a trading idea, while the car dealership company, AP Eagers, was reiterated as a Bell Potter buy. Now, the reason for that is new vehicle sales have fallen in Australia for the last 25 weeks, and you could expect this trend to somewhat reverse, given local lockdowns in Australia are easing. But Bell Potter says we could also expect a behavioural shift in Australia as consumers are less likely to catch public transport and more likely to drive a car. Now, this is what we saw with new vehicle sales in China rising on a week-on-week -week basis after their restrictions eased. Now, Bell Potter expects APEGA's shares to grow almost 50% in a year to $6.50. Now, what else to watch? On the economic front, Australian retail data is out for March. A rise of 8.2% is expected, giving stockpiling continued last month with shelf items and toilet paper and health supplements continuing to come off our shelves. I'm Jessica Ramirez from Bell Direct. Happy trading and stay safe.